Jumbo, fellow adventurers, it's Mike Dooley. Time for a spiritual tune-up and happy Friday. All right, this question uh, is a combination of several questions that have shown up recently on my Facebook or Instagram feeds under these videos uh, pertaining to the miraculous mechanics of manifestation. Maybe my favorite talking point. Mike, I'd love a metaphysical booster shot on how to show up, show up, show up something I advocate. The importance of our getting out there and pitching things the universe can hit out of the park. Another one of my metaphors. Thanks for being such a great student. How can you tell the difference between micromanaging and working towards your goal? When you show up, show up, show up, you know, aren't you automatically messing with the cursed house? Okay, time for a booster shot. Uh, the end all and be all of living the life of your dreams of making your dreams come true, of defeating your lions and tigers and bears. What is it you most want right now? The shortest, quickest way is to define what you want in terms of the end result in your mind and take baby steps towards it because your thoughts become the things and events of your life. It is the end all be all of living in these sacred jungles of time and space. Nothing mitigates the power of your focus. Nothing, not destiny, karma, ancient spiritual contracts, angels, tinkerbells, fairies, not even God's will. You are the expression of God's will, full force totally happening. Now the baton has been passed and God has come alive in you. You write the ticket. You decide what happens today, tomorrow, the rest of your life, and you decide through your thoughts, not your past, not your future, not, not ancient spiritual lives will affect this. You have that power now. Thoughts become things not sometimes, but all the time. Not just your positive thoughts, but your other ones too, because it is an immutable law as rigid and predictable, every bit as dependable as gravity. But don't worry when I say your other thoughts too, because you're naturally inclined to succeed. Five minutes of creative visualization can offset 18 waking hours of fear. Five minutes. So if you worry, don't worry that you worry. But let me run through my mechanics, the miraculous mechanics of manifestation really clearly for you right now. The best analogy I've ever come up with is to compare it to digital GPS navigation. Everything begins with the end, the destination. GPS knows where you are, satellite signals. Divine intelligence knows where you are, you are it. You simply decide where you want to go. In terms of the destination, do not worry about how you're going to get there. You put the end result in your GPS guided car and every possible way you could get there. Every speed limit, every merge, traffic construction, traffic delays, detours, congestion, all is factored in. And in the same instant, you tell the system your desired end result, it knows the shortest, quickest, happiest way for you to get there with all else that you have in mind. This is the universe. You say, I want wealth and abundance. I know how to get there. I want creative, fulfilling work. I know how to get there. I want a travel partner with benefits. I know who that is. In the instant you say the end result, the universe is like, I'm all over it. I know everybody. I know everything. I know every probability. I know every fork in the road in not only your life, but the seven and a half billion other co-creators on planet earth. And I'm going to blow your mind. This is how it works. But when you put your destination, the end result in the system, do you hear the car start speaking to you? Are you suddenly transported to that new place? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You're never going to get to that place unless you do step two. Put your car in gear. It won't matter if there's a vision board in the back seat. It won't matter if there's a gratitude rock in your pocket. You will, your dream will never come true if your car is in park, if your life is in park. But people don't know how their dream is going to come true. I already talked about that. The cursed house. I said, don't worry about how. Well, if I don't know how my dream is going to come true, where I'm going to find my travel partner, wealth and abundance, friends and laughter, health and healing, then how am I going to show up? What if I go down the wrong road? 
Come on, in your car, GPS guided, is there a wrong way? You could be, you could set out in the exact opposite direction of where the system wants you to go. But because you're moving, because you're rolling, because you showed up, showed up, showed up, taking action, baby steps, guidance is immediately forthcoming. Make a legal U-turn, right? You get guidance, guidance that is not forthcoming when you're sitting on your couch with a vision board waiting for Oprah Winfrey to call. She's not calling. She will never, ever call until you go out there and give her something to call about, which means you have to take action on your dream even when, and this is always true, even when you don't know how your dream's going to come true. Do anything. Show up. Do what mortals do who don't know about the woo-woo. Okay? Cold call. Continuing education. Uh, print business cards. Do the baby steps. Do it even though you don't know how the dots will be connected. Show up and then you give divine intelligence the ability to reach you through guidance, through intuition, through putting a new best friend on your path, a best friend that cannot find you if you're at home waiting for inspiration. Even without inspiration, go do something. Physically take action and think not that you have to hit the home run. That's too much pressure. You don't even know how your dream's going to come true. Just go out there with a glad heart and do your best consistently every day. The universe hits the home run if you keep pitching. You pitch. This is analogous to your baby steps. Every baby step you take, going to the mall and filling, filling out an application for a minimum wage job is better than staying at home. It's a pitch. And the universe can be like, now you're reachable. You have pitched the ball to me on your way to the mall in the bus. I'm going to sit you next to somebody who's going to so annoy you. You're going to look out the window and see the billboard about the upcoming entrepreneur's trade show, trade, trade event. And suddenly you're at a place rubbing shoulders with new people, getting new ideas. Your life is transformed because of that ding dong on the bus who annoyed you, which was actually an angel designed to get you to look out the window because you took action on a dream, even though it was going to a apply for a job that you didn't really care about. And that's better than staying at home and doing nothing. The universe hits the home runs when you pitch and your pitches are just measly seeming, inadequate seeming baby steps in the vague general direction of your dreams. Don't go to that job that you hate and learn to love it. Go to that job you hate because it's better than sitting at home on the couch and then go with a glad heart be your best. Smile. Everybody knows who that person is. Everybody wants some of that, including customers and clients who are going to walk through your space and be like, you need to be on my team. You need to meet my son. You need to do da, 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 da. You're out in the world and the program, the magic has been programmed through your end results. Dream a lot of big dreams, all in terms of the end result, as if they've already come true. Wealth and abundance and friends and laughter and places to go and health and vitality and good vibrations. The universe is like, I'm all over that. That's why you're here. That's why we're doing this whole drill of the jungles of time and space. I adore you. And there's so much waiting for you. Just dream and show up. Just dream and get out. Realize the miracles of manifestation are generally invisible. Like you see nothing until after the dream comes true. And then you're like, oh, thank God I've turned left and turned right. The whole way to a brand new best friend's house in a three hour journey is filled with new sights that do not add up to your friend and a warm embrace. But because you followed and you showed up and you didn't deviate from the desired end result, you look back after you arrive and you're having a, a cup of chai with your new best friend and you're like, Every left and right hand turn I took, every single thing I did was pounced upon by divine intelligence and brought me closer and closer to the inevitable manifestation of my heart's desires. So remember, just because it seems like nothing's happening doesn't mean nothing's happening. Just because you can't see the miracles doesn't mean you aren't caked in them every single day. The only thing that's meant to be in your life are the things you think about. And what are your thoughts? But your end results, they're your destinations. But don't be thinking now, how am I gonna make my dream come true? Because that's gonna put you in the Bermuda Triangle of Manifestation. You're gonna be worrying about the house instead of turning it over to divine intelligence. Focus exclusively on the end result and then do what you think makes sense. Yes, those are hows, but you're not attached to them. 
Here's one of the biggest teaching points. The thing that makes a how a how, the thing that makes a how cursed is not what you do. It's how you view why you did it. Why did you write that book? To make a million dollars, get on Oprah, and my life would take off. Oh, that's a cursed how. If instead you wrote that book because you wanted to write, while dreaming of a rocking life, but you wrote the book because it made sense, uh, you like to write, you have a story to del- tell, you have something to share, now you're going to write that book, and you're going to start that business, and you're going to show up with your friends, and you're going to diversify your life. Now you're not attached or insistent upon, that book is my ticket. Write the book to the best of your ability with a glad heart. But do other things as well and write the second book because you love writing. That's why you're writing the first book, right? So the thing that makes a cursed how cursed is when you insist or attach, this is how my dream or my life will take off. Let the dream stand alone and independent and then try a number of different things. Pitch the ball in a number of different ways. Take lots of baby steps. Write the book. Sell the widgets. Go back to school. Uh, Become an entrepreneur. Do all of those things, but don't insist that any one of them be how your dream comes true. There will be a how. There's going to be an amazing story that you tell to everybody of how your dream came true. But don't tell that story at the beginning of the journey. Tell it afterwards. Let the universe surprise you. Leave infinite possibilities on deck for the universe to connect the dots. And you create the dots giving the universe more chances to reach you by doing different things. You don't have to do too many different things. Don't spread yourself too thin, but go in the direction of your passions. Go in direction of things that make some intuitive and logical sense towards living a rocking, joyful life. And the universe will be able to thread that needle and blow your mind. It's easy. It always works. It never fails. Fellow adventurers, thanks for this opportunity. I hope that booster shot will hold you over for the weekend. If you want more, a lot more, a lot, lot more, I have a podcast. It is five-star rated on Apple. It is five-star rated on Google. It's on other main podcast platforms. So check out the link below on this Facebook broadcast. Swipe up in my bio on Instagram, and you'll be able to find the platform that suits you. Every week, a brand new podcast. Two brand new podcasts are dropped, which are a collection of all prior 300 spiritual tune-ups that I've done. Talejo amigos, happy Friday, happy the best weekend of your life so far. And thank you for being with me today, Tonya and Suzanne and Jean and David and on Instagram, Love Stress 314. All right, Ash and Fire, the new the new Lacey's back. Thank you, thank you. Check out the link below, New Lacey. Or swipe up on Instagram. Uh, Have a great one. We'll see you on Monday. Hasta pronto.